Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how to do stretch and squash using text layer in After Effects. So someone actually requested this effect because I've actually created this kind of effect before for my previous Animotion clips. So I have my project file here. I have the background which consists of gradient balls, some waves and some other objects. And then I also have my text layer and I have color palette for you if you want to use it. And also I've set up this posterized time effect. You can download this project file and I've put the link in the description below. Create a shape layer using a text layer by clicking right on the text layer and then go to create and then create shapes from text. And we want to duplicate this layer according to how many letters we have. So for my instance, there's six letters. So I'm going to duplicate it six times. Now I'm going to rename these layers according to the letters. Next, we want to hit U twice so we can see what's under this shape layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the letters here and then I'm going to unselect the S because this layer is supposed to be S and just delete it. I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of them. Now that we've deleted the content that we don't need on each layer, we're gonna start moving the anchor point for each letters. So if you select all of these layer, and then I have this plugin called Motion Tools 2. So basically I got this from Motion Design School when I enrolled in their fundamental course. I've put the link in the description below if you're interested. So they have this tool where you can move the anchor point to a certain positions so in this instance we want to move the anchor point down to the bottom so I'm gonna click on this and then it just automatically move those anchor points on the bottom of each letter now I just want to move the anchor point on the Q because I want to move the anchor point on the bottom of the stalk of the Q instead of just floating around over here now we can start animating the scale so go to the very first frame select all of the letters and then hit S and then we're gonna turn off all of the constraint proportions and I'm gonna create a keyframe and I'm gonna move 10 frames by using shift page down so that just automatically move your playhead 10 frames forward and I'm gonna create keyframe there and then the third one and then the last one so there will be four keyframes on each letter now if we go back to the very first keyframe again we want to change the Y scale to zero because that's when it starts. And then on the second keyframe, we want to change the Y scale to be bigger than 680. That's because we want to make the letter looks like it's stretched out. I'm going to change it to 1300. On the third one, we're going to squash this letters. So it has to be below 680. I'm going to change it to 500, just slightly squashed. And then on the fourth keyframe and the last one, we're just going to leave it as is. So that's the final form. Now I'm going to select all of the keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease it. So if we preview it now, that is basically the basic idea of squashing and stretching your object or your text. But I want to add an effect to it called the warp effect to just dramatize the effect of squash and stretch. So let's start with the S. If we type in warp on your effects and preset and if we just drop that into one of the letter i'm just gonna solo this so that you can see what's going on the problem with just adding the effects onto the shape layer is that the effect doesn't realize that the text is only a small portion of the whole composition so it just kind of applied to the text according to the size of the composition so we don't want that so i'm gonna undo that and in order to solve that problem, we're going to pre-comb each of these letters. So I'm going to pre-comb this. Start with the S first. Just name it letter S. And then I'm going to add markers for 
all of the keyframes. It's just a guide so that you know where the keyframes are. Let's go inside the letter S pre-comp and then basically hit you on your layer. Go to the second keyframe where the text is the most stretched. And then now we're gonna crop this composition to just exactly where the S is. In order to do that, there is this tool called region of interest. So just click on that and then basically just kind of like create a mask on where you want your composition to be cropped. So it doesn't have to be a perfect shape on where the letter is, just as long as small enough, but also kind of like cover the whole letter. And then the next thing you want to do is to go to composition and hit crop com to region of interest. And that just automatically crop your composition to where your region of interest is. Let's go back to the main cop. Now you notice that the S is now in the middle. That's because we just crop the composition and we want to move the S back to where it was. And to make it easier, we're going to turn back on the squash text layer and we're going to use this as a guide. So I'm going to turn off this effect on the squash text layer. So it's just half this blue color. I'm going to lock that and I'm going to go to the fourth keyframe. So the reason why I want to go to the fourth keyframe is because that's where the text becomes the original form. Now I'm just going to manually match this to the guide. Let's now put the warp effect on the S precom. As you see now, because the composition is much smaller, it just kind of distort that area. And on the warp effect, we want to change the warp style to bulge. And then we want to change the warp axis to vertical. And then let's go back to the very first frame of your composition. I'm going to turn off the squash guide for now. And then we're going to animate the bend. So create a keyframe and then hit you on your S precom. And then create another keyframe here. So create four keyframes like you did with the scale. Let's go back to the very first keyframe and I'm going to change the bend to zero. On the second keyframe, it has to be a minus number. So I'm going to type in minus 30. The reason why is because the letter is more stretched on this keyframe. And when an object is stretched, it's kind of like become thin. The third one is when the letter is squashed. So it has to be a positive number. So I'm just going to change it to 30 for this one. And then the last one is the final form. So turn it back to zero. So it doesn't affect anything. Just going to easy, easy it again. If we solo the S and the Q, just to see the difference. Now the S is more dramatized and it just looks like it's actually being stretched and squashed. Now I'm going to do that for the rest of the letters. Now, since we already have S here, so it's going to be a double. So I'm just going to delete this second S actually. I'm just going to duplicate the first S and then just move it back down here. Now we all have pre -com all of the letters. Now I'm just going to change the layer color to something else. And then turn back your guide text again. Go to the fourth keyframe and then just move all of this text manually. Now turn off your text guide and then I'm just going to copy the warp effect from the S and paste it to the rest of the letters. But make sure you go to the very first frame of your composition before you paste it. Let's preview this. Yep, now it's all applied to all of the letters. Now we want to stagger this layers and we can again use the motion tools. They have this sequence layers options where basically you just need to select all of the layers that you want to be staggered and then just select how the order you want to be. So for example, this one is sequence from top layer and that's what we want because we want the S to start first. But if you click on that, you can just change the sequence order. But let's go back to the sequence from top layer. And then you can change the offset. So for this, I'm just going to change it to five. The offset is basically just the gap between the layers. And then you just have to hit sequence and then just kind of like staggered it automatically. 
Now the last thing is to pre-comb all of these letters. Just gonna call it pre-comb school wash and knee. And I'm gonna apply a gradient. So if you remember on my text guide layer, I have this full color gradient effect. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it on top of the pre-comb squash any and just turn it on. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments or you have any requests on what tutorial you want to see next, please leave it in the comment below. And also I'm doing this thing on Instagram where if you do an animation using my tutorial, I will repost it on my Instagram. So feel free to follow my Instagram and you can find it in the link description below.